Hi, this is Sherry from Hanukkah, and here we have Dana Williams. Her son was traveling on the back of a 4 by 4 when it got into an accident. It was involved in a collision, and he was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. And she is being interviewed by a local uh, media, and they said that she was so consumed with grief she could not speak so her son spoke on her behalf okay what i want to ask is dana when you hear about other kids on the island being taken by accident in accidents you know murders accidents when you hear of other kids dying are you choked up unable to speak when you hear about all the murders and the deaths in jamaica and trinidad your sister islands are you concerned about that when you hear about wars or rumors of wars are you concerned about casualties and women being raped kids being killed are you concerned about the casualties of wars i always wonder when something happens to one person and they can feel so much and probably expect the whole world to stop. Does your world stop when something else happens to other people? Or is this are th- these emotions just dedicated to you and you alone when it happens to you? And I think that it's a very, very fair question. Not being insensitive is a fair question. How far do you go with these emotions? And it seems as though these emotions are just assigned to individuals when it happens to that individual. They don't care about anyone else. Her life, Dana, your life continued when there were other people being killed or accidentally involved in accidents and didn't return home. Your life continued. You ate, you drank, you probably went to work the same way when other parents were crying and grieving a loss. It didn't affect you like it did when you heard that your son, Zico, was killed. And at this point, are you asking yourself, how come I was not compassionate to the world? How come I do feel so sad? I can hardly speak. I'm crippled by how sad I am that my son was taken from me. Do you ask yourself now, how come I don't feel this way? When it happens to other moms and dads and brothers and sisters, how come I don't feel this way? And it's something that puzzles me because how could you not care about the world? What's happening in the world? The world is not only you. The world involves other people and situations. And if now... You are feeling the way you are feeling because someone was taken from you. Are you now more are you more exposed to feeling something about the world when it is crying, when kids are crying, when kids are hurting, when kids are dying? Are you more now understanding? what is going on in the world because it happened to you? Now, um, I know this is a touchy subject, but (laughs) I do approach these very sensitive topics all the time. 
and I'm built. I'm built for the responses. But uh, it's just something that people need to look at within themselves. When you cry for yourself and you expect the world to take a look at you, look at me, I'm sick with this grief. Look at me. When you want the world to stop and look at you, now is a time that you should stop and look at the world and grieve for the world and the children of the world because there are parents out there in your same very situation crying because their child did not return home. It's not only you, Dana. And when it happens to you, maybe it's a wake-up call. Maybe there are many, many, many Danas out there and it's always a wake-up call. So how do you proceed now, Dana? How do you proceed now? Are you going to be more caring? More caring about the world? About wars? About women issues? About abuse issues? About maybe um, championing that people should not travel in the back of a 4 by 4 truck? Maybe there should be other safety measures? Where do you go now, Dana, how do you proceed now in your life to make you feel a little better, Dana? The world is crying. The world is crying. There are kids being taken every day. Every day. The world should stop and look at the world. Okay, speak on behalf of things that are happening in the world. And maybe, maybe if we are more compassionate, show some compassion, maybe we will more understand life and be more at peace with sorrow. Maybe, maybe. This is Sherry Veronica.